HubSpot CRM tutorial for beginners, step-by-step -step tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with the HubSpot CRM, which is the customer relations management software, and how you can manage all of your customer relations using the HubSpot CRM and their different features. So to get started, you're just going to go onto HubSpot.com. And if you scroll down over here, you can take a look at the different features that they have in their CRM software. So they have things from Marketing Hub, Sales Hub, Service Hub, and and then they also have the CMS hub and the operations hub. So these are some of the highlighted features within the HubSpot CRM. Now to get started with HubSpot, what we're going to do is we're just going to click on start free or get a demo at the top right over here. And then we're just going to begin our sign up process on HubSpot. So uh, they're going to ask you what you want to specifically get started with. So we're going to click on get started for free. And then we're just going to click on get started. And now we just have to fill out this. So you can enter your first name, last name, and email address and sign up at that or you can even sign up with Google. So I am just going to continue on with my Google account and I will just sign up via Google. You can just input your email address if you want to sync up your Google calendar and stuff like that. You can link your Google account. Uh, that just totally depends on what you want. So we're just going to continue on over here. Now after that HubSpot is going to ask you what industry you are in. So let's say we are in uh, design and then you're just going to click on next. Then you're going to add the role that you have. So we're just going to add CEO then we're going to add your company name so we're going to add Jane Doe Inc and then we're going to click on next over here now after that they're going to ask you how many people are working in your company so they can better optimize it and then your company website so I'm just going to click on over here and now after that they're going to ask you where you want your data to be hosted so we're just going to continue with the United States if you're from the European Union then I would suggest you click on EU just for faster data transfer transfer and then after that what kind of previous CRM you have been using so if you have previously used a CRM then they're going to you know let you know and you're going to let them know so it's a better experience for you so I'm just going to click on over here but you're going to continue the top option and now after that you're going to uh, explore what kind of services you want to specifically focus on using HubSpot now after that you can start adding contacts but I'm going to skip that for now and I'm just going to continue on directly to the actual HubSpot CMS so uh, this is the HubSpot dashboard and you can see that we are currently on the free plan and CRM. So this is the basic CRM and there are quite a few different operations that you can still manage on the free version of HubSpot. Now this is your dashboard and on your dashboard on your top you have a navigation panel where you have your contacts. So over here you're just going to list all of your contacts. You can create different companies and specific individual contacts as well. Then you have conversations which is basically your inbox and you have marketing. So your marketing campaigns such as ads, email, email marketing, and landing pages can all be managed in the marketing section, even on the free version. Then you have your sales. You have deals, you have tasks, you have documents, meetings, and codes that are available in the sales section. Then you have a service. And service is probably the most used CRM function over here because you can manage all of your ticketing over here. So you can just click on import over here to import your ticketing uh, if you already have it synced up somewhere, or you can import a CSV or Excel file. Even if you don't have that, you don't need to worry. You can just click on create ticket over here and start creating tickets and just add a specific pipelines where they are related to. You can add a ticket description so I can say damaged goods and then you're going to add the status of the ticket. Say we are going to add waiting on us, ticket description, all broken at delivery. And then you're going to add the source of your ticket. So let's say we received this complaint via email. And then after that, you're going to add the ticket owner. So obviously, uh, when a customer is going to report a ticket or send, you know, a complaint, then you're going to have their email and then you're going to input their email. But for now, I'm going to add no owner. And then you're going to add the priority of a ticket. So let's say this is medium priority. Then this is going to be the create date. And then if we scroll down, you can associate this ticket with a certain contact. So whoever is the person that has complained about this issue, whoever is the person related to the issue you can add that and then you can also associate a specific company so if you're dealing with companies and let's say you are dealing with suppliers you are dealing with people that you supply to you can add those companies over here as well and you can add timeline activity from this company or this person as well to further help you in illustrating the issues relating to that ticket this enables you to get a good and simple overview of the entire issue and you can also keep track if you have recurring issues with certain products or certain companies or certain people as well so you can better deal with them in your customer crm now after that 
that in your service section, then you have your automation, which is only a premium feature on the HubSpot CRM. And then you have a report. So in your reports, you have analytic tools and you have dashboards and you have basic reporting. Now I'm going to go back into the contact section on the top left over here. And you can see uh, these are just some template contacts that they have added. There are different categories of contact and different views that you can add. You can see you have on your top right, the create contact section. So over here, once I click on that, you just add the email. Let's say I'm just going to add one of my own emails as a sample to show you guys how you're going to add your contact. And then you're just going to add the name and then you're going to add the contact owner like so and now you're going to add the job title so i could add my own job title as clothing supplier and then we're going to add a phone number you can add that you can also add a life cycle stage to a specific contact as well so a life cycle stage is basically where this person stands with you in your business let's say this person is a customer you can add them as a customer a opportunity a qualified sales lead a marketing lead a basically a subscriber or other as well so this is probably like this is i'm setting this up as as a collaborator so i'm just going to leave this as other and then i'm going to add as connected so this is like a connected contact and this is like not a customer not a lead but this is a person that i am currently working with so a collaborator so i'm just going to leave that at other and then i'm just going to click on create contact and then i have created a simple contact on hubspot now once you create a contact you have details about the contact so you have all of the activity within the contact you can monitor all of that within one space you also can create notes about your contacts you can monitor calls as well and emails as well then you can also create tasks for a certain contact so uh, you can add uh, enter your tasks let's say meeting and then let's say you can add this in one week and then set a reminder 30 minutes before the task is due and then let's say it is going to be a call with low priority and then you can assign it to yourself or to another team member that they have to meet with this person at a specific time and then you can also enter notes you can also add images and other documents as well and then you're just going to click on create over here and now this i have assigned to myself but you can assign it to other people within the hubspot crm as well to better manage your customer experience so in this way you can leave you know certain contacts are previously dealt by a specific agent of yours they can continuously deal with that contact because they already know how this person works how this person likes to be responded to and this will just enable your customers to have a better experience it goes the same with companies so in the contact section if we go on to companies you can click on create company on the top right over here and then you can add all of the companies that you are currently collaborating with or working with now after that if we take a look at the conversations it's pretty self-explanatory so i will skip that for now but if we take a look at marketing you can click on email over here in your marketing section now all you have to do is click on get started and you can even uh, integrate your email marketing if you're already using mailchimp or if you're just new to emailing email marketing with your your customers then you can just get started you can click on create email over here you can draft newsletters you, you can draft like a basic welcome email a thank you email all on this platform on this crm and then send it to your customers to better help them feel like they are a valued customer so you can just click on promotion over here preview this template edit it and then send it to your contact list you can just create a contact list specifically called leads or customers and then send those emails to that target audience so that that is how simple and easy it is to navigate through the HubSpot CRM. These are some of the most important uh, aspects that you will have to deal with with the HubSpot CRM. Other than that, on your top right, you can see you have your account, then you have your account billing, your pricing and features, product updates and training and services, and then you can sign out with your profile preferences. And then if we take a look at the report section, this is just some of the report section. You can view a detailed report via the premium sections of HubSpot, but on the basic version, there are just simple reports. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.